Hello and welcome to The Bright Show right here on ATU TV. My name is Bright Boache. Yes, and today we have here the first runner-up of the phase of TUSAC. And we all know that TUSAC is the name given to the Faculty of Engineering in Accra Technical University. And that is Technical University Engineering Students Association of Ghana. Yes. So now, let's get close and know our guest for today. Yes, so today we have here uh, Big Smith. Yeah, Big Smith, you're welcome to the Bright Show. Thank you. Yes, and we have Benedicta, women, is a woman of substance. substance. Yes. Now, before we delve into uh, today's conversation, uh, I would like them to introduce themselves to you so that you know them better. Yes, so Benedicta, can you tell us a bit about yourself? Okay. So my name is Benedicta Semako. Okay. Um, a level 100 student at Accra Technical University. Um, and I'm studying biomedical engineering. Yes. Wow. Yeah. Okay. What about you, Big Smith? Mm -hmm. My name is Stephen Maulolo. Maul Stephen Maulolo. Okay. Smith, an auto student. I'm also in level 200. Level 200. All right. So now let's talk about the journey uh, through the phase of TUSA. Now tell me your journey through the phase of TUSA. Okay. How is it? Well, it has been fine. I will not complain because I've learned a lot from being part of the phase of TUSA. Phase of TUSA. Yeah. Because I would. Before I used to be a very shy person, when I come into public, I don't want to really talk and stuff. Involve yourself yeah. into those I things. wanted to get out of my comfort zone and just be more of myself. Mm. So, yeah. Wow. Okay, what about you? Okay. I also enjoyed. Yes, it was fun and a lot of discipline, you know. Yes, because you have um, your groomers coming in to train you. Okay. You have to heed to instructions and all that. So... You know, we had a great time. We learned a lot. You know, we mm. worked on our confidence level and all that. Yes. Wow, wow. And you know, uh, this is the the first time TUSAC yes. has organized such a program for the engineering students. Yes. And when you heard that for the first time, how do you feel? Okay, for me, um, I didn't really have interest in the pageantry. Yes, show. yes. I I didn't really have interest because I didn't really want to put myself into um some social activities on campus because okay. they just eat up my time okay so one time i was uh, i was sent a message that i have been nominated for this pageantry oh just like that just like that wow. <laughs> yes. Then yes. Yeah, so the, the, the woman engineering president then yeah lady comfort okay. yeah she sent me that message so i was a bit confused i told her i didn't want to but then she was like, don't worry, it's a training session, you know, people will be around to help you guys out, what to do and all that. So wow. I was like, okay, fine, I'll just put in my best because if it, if it must be done, it must be done well. So so that means that um, she chose specific people who can... Um, no, actually, it was open for everyone who was everyone. interested, but okay. then she personally sent me a message, you know, she sent a message out that maybe you have been nominated wow. for, yeah. Okay, so this shows that you have something special in you. <laughs> yes, yes. And I think she saw it, that's why she... she yes, yeah. she is. Wow, awesome. Now, what about you? Um, okay, for me, one of the groomers is actually my friend. Okay. So, he, he, he told me about it, the program, and I was okay. So looking at it, I think it will benefit me more, of course, of how I am and mm. how I you know, want to get involved into stuff like this. So, I was like, okay, I'll give it a try. Okay. And getting to it, it has elevated my confidence in public and stuff like that so wow yeah so now you're bold confident yeah. Yeah. wow so you can stand in front of the crowd and as i'm sitting here talking to you <laughs> i seem to be a, a step in the gym wow yeah. okay 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 i was gonna uh, ask about the inspiration behind you joining the face of Jesus, but it seems you've answered everything already yes, yeah yes, but yes. do you have any kind of inspiration what inspired you to join that okay apart from apart you being from... nominated Okay, so I think during the training sessions, you know, um, kind of getting to know new stuff, you know, how to cut walking heels and mm. all that, you're getting to know a lot of so stuff. So it inspired you to continue Yes, and then, and then uh, motivation from my friends, colleagues, oh, you can do it, you have the quality, just do this. So, mm. yeah, it also motivated me to okay. do that, yes. Okay, okay. what about you? Um, okay, actually for me, through the training, training, was there any inspiration that 
was pushing you to well my friends more. my friends always encourage me to you know go out there and just okay. put in my best and they always support me they also sometimes come to the training ground and cheer mm-hmm. me up that I should keep wow. because i'm sure that some people will join and then later i'll feel like uh, they should quit you know oh, yeah, people didn't that's oh, what they yeah. wow. did wow wow since i was getting more motivated from my friends how to just keep on going wow. yeah now, did you face any challenge yeah. through the journey? You know, comparing, you know, learning at the same time. Sometimes you have a class, you need to skip the class and actually come for results mm. at the same time. And sometimes it's, you, not, easy. it's not easy. Yeah. It's not easy. It's what about you? The same challenge. The same yes, challenge. You know, skipping class. Sometimes mm. you have a test, you have to run, go right, and come, come back. back. Maybe. You have learned something new. You have to come and do some fashion. Yes, yes, all that. Okay, so how how did you balance it? How did you balance Sometimes, it? like, when you miss out the reaction, mm-hmm. you come back later and you ask a friend to assist you in what they learned mm-hmm. so that they'll take you through. So some of our friends were also helping. helping yeah. Wow. wow. What about you? So you just have to um, find time to cover up for all the... The lectures you've missed, you know, yeah, your friends, you just ask your friends to help you out. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. So, is there any memorable moment um, through the journey yeah. you've had through the journey? <laughs> yeah. Can you share with us? A lot. A lot. A lot. A lot. <laughs> yeah. You know, sometimes you be hungry, but you need to sacrifice. Sacrifice. <laughs> <laughs> you complain, but you'll be like, no, you can't go out. You need to get it done. Sometimes yeah. you're not really getting. The whole thing, but like you need to get it done before you before leave. you leave. So, yeah. so apart from the food aspect, is there any memorable? Um, you know the conversation and you know some of the groomers were like very nice to us. Mm. Yeah. Some of us like we tell them oh, we can't do it. Let's change. We're like no, you need to get what. Yeah. So the groomers, um, the like everything was calm. The calm. training was calm. There is no harsh. Yeah, definitely will be a little bit harsh, but you need to ask. You are learning you are like you take it as your student and you are a teacher so okay. perhaps you just calm down and just learn from them. Okay. Okay. What about you? Uh, okay. Queen right here, memorable yes. moment. So um I remember our groomers sitting us down mm-hmm. and asking us why we chose to join the pageantry. Yeah, and then asking us our challenges and all that, you know, mm-hmm. yeah, I enjoyed that moment because yeah, we, we had to come all out and tell them our problems so that if there's something bothering anyone that's stopping him or her from doing their best mm. out there, they can just help you out or that yeah. So okay. There was an other fun moment where, you know, we all laugh together, crack jokes and then maybe sometimes your groomers are angry at you and oh. then <laughs> you just have to put up with it. Yes, yes, wow. yes. Okay. Um I know that through the journey You've learned a lot. Yes. Yes. Can you so so can you share to us what you've learned so far? Um. Yeah. We learned how to model. How to model. Yeah. Before okay. we didn't know how to model. Most of us, but wow. through the reason and stuff, we learned how to model. We learned how to dance, how to give presentation, and how to speak in public. Oh wow! So a lot. So now you're a gentleman. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Yes, um, my queen. Yes, okay. So, I would, as you said, yeah, um, speaking in public, okay. yeah, you know how to stand and then hold the microphone and all that. Mm-hmm. The cats walking also, and then uh, being time conscious because you have to work within a particular time. Yeah, you are given a time range on stage. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and all that. So. Okay. Okay. So first time standing on stage in front of a lot of people, mm. how is that feeling? Because some people feel a little bit nervous. Yes. yes. So, so how did you feel? Okay. So the very first show, yeah, I was a bit nervous. Though it was a group something. We started with the dance. Okay. It was a group dance. Yeah. You know, the crowd, everyone looking at you. Mm. Yeah. I was a bit nervous, but then at the second time, I just knew how to do everything. You know, as the show is going on, you get mm-hmm. to know how to just act on stage what to do on stage mm-hmm. and all that yeah so i got used to the crowd and then just come come on stage do what i have to do and then just go back yeah wow. so i got yeah. used to the crowd wow. yeah. yeah same for me too same but for, for me you. i had my friends in the audience so they were cheering me up every time i come on stage so 
that took away from um, the, the shine, fear, fear the and shyness everything. from there. So once I see my friends, I just yeah, deliver and you know, buzz <laughs> boy, yeah, <laughs> just deliver <laughs> shops. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So now let's talk about the prizes. Okay. Can you tell us uh, the things that you were given? Okay. After you being crowned the first runner up. Okay, so we were given a, a hamper. Okay. Um a bowl set. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then um kettle. a kettle. Yeah. Okay. Same applies to you. Yes. Okay. Okay. Wow. Okay, so is there any projects you guys are looking forward to come up with to support um the engineering departments and maybe probably the school yeah. as a whole? Is there yes, any project? We are actually designing yeah. something. Designing yeah. something. Can you share with us? Designing what car? Okay, or okay. Something? I'll just say something brief, not uh -huh. necessarily, but then we're going to have um more practical mm -hmm. sessions with students, you know, because um it's a technical university mm -hmm. and we feel like you know we have to work more with our hands. Yes. Okay. So we just want to um bring in pra more practical sessions like when we have maybe talk shows it shouldn't be just talking sure. yeah. yeah but then it should be something where students will come and then they'll make something with their build hands something. Like build something yeah so we want to actually make that part of most of our shows in the school yeah okay but then as time goes on we bring other projects on board too okay yes. okay that is um a uh, group Thing that you are doing, yeah, so yes, thing. yes, yeah. But you yourself, do you have something? Okay, for me personally, um, I would like to have like an outreach, especially for, especially for women. Women, yes, because okay. we need a lot of women in the field of engineering. Hmm. Yes, yes, yes. So, yeah. So I just want to inspire the women out there. Okay. Yes, to if even if you want necessarily be based in engineering you can actually contribute to something in the field of engineering because okay. i feel like we all have ideas so when even if you can't build but then you bring an idea someone can actually work on it and then build something so we just feel like even if you won't be fully in, into engineering just when there are decision makings you can just bring out something think of something just put okay. it out there someone will work on it and then it's we are all fine to go. Wow. Yes. That's nice. I love your idea. Yes. So, Big Smith, yes. is there anything you are personally bringing on board okay. to support? For me, I'm more of like a sports person. Okay. I'm more into like sports activities. So, I'm looking forward to maybe help recruit some of my friends. Because I play rugby and I also play African football. Mm -hmm. So, maybe I'll try and recruit some of my friends to get into the sports. And maybe they can get some opportunity for me. From there. Yeah. Okay, so you're part of um, American football. football, yeah, and also I play rugby at the same time. Mm, yeah, so wow, two sports at the same time. Wow, wow, yeah. two sports at the same time. Yeah. I can see um, sashes on you yeah. and the medal. <laughs> let, let me start with our queen right here. Can you tell us uh, the meaning of the sashes on you? Okay, okay, so this is for being the first runner up. Okay. Yeah, I was so uh on no, most industrious <laughs> most wow. industrious and then most disciplined female. Yes, yes. Wow. So wow. Awesome. Yeah. Yes, so Big Smith. Okay, for what me, you have there? I have um, the first one out for the T sack mm -hmm. and I'll be it's you strongest. It's you strongest? Yeah, <laughs> medal. You were part. I am part of um, the participant. Wow. Out of nineteen. We are they awarded ten people. Ten people, okay. And came out to be the same. Wow. So. Hey, then you are very strong. <laughs> <laughs> I think you have to join the Ghana most strongest. Yes. <laughs> yes. That's yes to in, come. The in the future. And my queen, you have to also join Ghana most beautiful. beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> wow, wow, wow. Okay, so um do you have anything to tell your friends out there, those who are into the engineering uh, field? Yes, do you have something to tell them? Yes, um, that um, when anytime they get some opportunities, mm -hmm. they should just um, put in their all, just do it wholeheartedly, just allow yourself to be trained, and then you know a lot of things will come your way because okay. it's not always going to be about your books because mm -hmm. it's a social life, you know. Yeah, so you have to get used to other aspects of life. Just okay. build everything up together. Mm. Yes, and then you'll be fine to go. Yeah. Because opportunity comes but once, yes, right? Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes. Okay, what about you? 
Um, <laughs> actually, for me, I would say they should take every opportunity that's given to them. Because mm-hmm. you can't just come to school and just go without learning anything. Mm-hmm. So it shouldn't all be about books. It could be about something else. Because you don't know where the future goes. Mm-hmm. So yeah, so any opportunity that comes, just try to get something from it. So that when you're done with school, and maybe school doesn't really help, something else can help you. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Okay, so, so, so far, I'll, I'll continue. So you shouldn't like put your like focus on one thing. You should have more options. Yeah. yeah. Okay. You should always have a plan B, plan C. When A doesn't work, oh, B has to work. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So now, um, through the phase of TUSA, have you gotten any support from outside campus? Okay, as I said, my um, beauty brand company, I actually got that offer after the pageant too. Yes, yes. Mm. So I feel like that's what brought it out because maybe my boss felt like, okay, you can do it. So let me just recruit you and then wow. do something. Let so now see. you're working for the company? Yes, yes. And then you're chopping money. <laughs> hey. <laughs> okay, okay. What about you? Um. Okay, for me, I've not really gotten any like job opportunity from that yet. Okay. But, I help some of my friends that are like going out uh, for let's say some posts in, in the school. Mm-hmm. Let's say um, the presidency, Tusa president, and all mm-hmm. those SRC stuff. They reach out to me and be like, oh, since you are a bit known in the school, try to accompany for us and stuff. So, I think. All right. Yeah. All right. So, um, thank you very much for joining this conversation. Yes, a big thanks goes to my special guest right here, my queen, and then my king. Yes. Thank you so much. And that's all we have for you today on The Bright Show. My name is Bright Wache. See you same time next week. Bye-bye.